The satellite image above shows a new North Korean reactor that appears to be coming online now, after years of construction, according to analysts. It sits in the Yongbyon nuclear complex, where the North began its nuclear program in the 1960s. Today, the site boasts hundreds of buildings that lie along a loop of the Kuryong River and cover an area of more than three square miles. Making bomb fuel in reactors is seen as easier to do than perfecting missiles that can hurl nuclear arms around the globe. While experts clash over how soon the North will develop warheads that can survive the blistering heats of re-entry, they agree that the North has already mastered the art of using reactors to make plutonium. The new reactor could be a central issue in the Trump Kim talks if the gold, as the United States insists, is complete denuclearization. Even if MR.KIM agrees to a freeze on nuclear and missile testing, he would still be able to accumulate more bomb fuel for a larger arsenal as long as the negotiations dragged on. But if the talks fail or simply drag on, the reactor could also be part of the justification for military action, at least if the past arguments of Mr. Trump's newly appointed national security adviser, John R. Bolton, prevailed. In March 2015, just before the Iran deal was struck, Mr. Bolton argued in a New York Times op ed that neither negotiations nor sanctions would stop Iran from bolstering its nuclear and weapons programs. He has since made similar arguments about North Korea. The image of the North Korean reactor above from February 25 shows what look like emissions from a smokestack. That suggests that preliminary testing may have begun at the new reactor, according to a report by Jane's Intelligence Review and the Center for International Security and Cooperation at Stanford University. The plant is called the Experimental Light Water Reactor. There are a number of objects that have been put in place that lead me and a number of experts to the conclusion that this might be used for production of electricity, said Alison Puccioni of the Stanford team. She cautioned against assuming that North Korea sees the reactor as a way to make more fuel for nuclear weapons. A history of nuclear development and talks of denuclearization North Korea first began operating a nuclear reactor in the 1980s at Yongbyon, according to Declassified C. IA documents and a report by Siegfried S. Hecker, a former director of the Los Alamos Laboratory in New Mexico who has visited the Yongbyon complex multiple times. The image below highlights not only the two reactors but the plutonium reprocessing plant where the North Mines spent reactor fuel for the precious radioactive metal that can power nuclear arms. Yet the issue is not insurmountable. The usual approach is to rely on inspectors who ensure that no spent reactor fuel gets mined for plutonium. The International Atomic Energy Agency did so before at Yongbyon, before its inspectors were expelled, and could surely do so again.